AITA for treating my adopted children the same as my biological child. Me, 44M, and my wife Amy, 43, have a biological son Ethan, 16, and an adopted son Aiden and daughter Gracie, 16, 12. We adopted Aiden and Gracie 10 years ago. We have been talking about colleges for a while with the boys and they both want to stay together. Wherever they go, we have college funds for all three children with the same amount in so they will be able to afford to go if they decide to. My mother died and left me a lot of money and I used it to fund their accounts as I thought this was more important than paying off our mortgage that we are comfortably paying each month. The more the boys talk about college the more Amy gets upset with how much money it's going to cost. This all ended up in a huge argument between us with her calling me a She apparently is happy to fund Ethan's college but only part for Aiden and Gracie. I told her this isn't fair as they are all our kids not just Ethan. He doesn't mean more just because he has our DNA. I told her it was my inheritance and I can do what I want with it and I wanted to make sure the kids had a good start to life. She said that she deserves stuff too and me spending all the money on the kids means she doesn't get what she wants. She left a few days ago and I haven't heard anything from her. I thought kids didn't hear the fight but today Aiden came down and said sorry for causing a fight between us and that he is grateful that I stood up for him and Gracie. My heart went out for him and I said that I will always stand up for him and that I loved him and Gracie. He said I know but I'm not sure about mom. So am I the aw? Should I compromise a bit to keep Amy happy? I was adopted and used to hear little comments all the time. We sometimes already feel like a burden. But rhetoric usually confirms it. Just know Aiden will never forget those words your wife said. His heart and mindset changed the moment he heard that. It should come as no surprise if he pulls back from your wife and he may even pull back from Ethan. 2. I feel Aiden and Grace and hope they'll be able to obtain full ride scholarships. NTA make sure the money is in funds that are tied directly to each child and that your wife doesn't have access. You may even want to talk to a lawyer about how to make sure the money is not touchable in a divorce settlement if it comes to that. I do not trust someone who could think and speak that way about children they have been raising for a decade. NTA. It's absolutely horrible that your wife apparently thinks less of two of your kids because they're adopted. What was she like when the topic of adoption came up? Whose idea was it? NTA. It's not their fault that they were put up for adoption. And how does Amy expect the rest of their college to be funded? Her attitude is a sure way to single out her kids. And enhance the fact that they are adopted. Makes me wonder why she decided to go through with adoption as she's not completely on board with it. NTA. But what is it that your wife wants that she's under the impression she can't get without withholding a portion of the kids' college funds? NTA. This is heartbreaking. I'm glad your children have you. It also seems that they have each other as well. I can't say much nice about your wife. NTA. Your inheritance to do with as you please. Your adopted children are your children and you owe them just as much of your love and resources. But make sure you are making sound financial decisions. I wouldn't suggest paying off the mortgage early. At least if the interest rate is from 14 years ago. But cover your retirement before children's college. NTA. All three are your kids. Legally and in every way that matters. It sounds like your wife is jealous of them for some reason. You did the right thing. NTA. You would be a huge asshole if you do what your wife wants here. What she is doing is unbelievably cruel. Good on you for treating all of your children as your children. NTA. 
You are a brilliant father and well done for providing for all of your children. No advice for how to deal with your wife though. But you are NTA. Holy hell. First off NTA. Your wife though. Woof. Complete awe. This is why there are so many former adopted kids that absolutely hate the system and the people that adopted them. You are good. Your wife is not at all. I mean you're spot on here. You're splitting it up three days yet your wife is acting like that's giving your bio daughter less. Makes no sense. If she can't handle having adopted children. I mean some decisions need to be made here. Hell they know she doesn't care about them. NTA. WTF is wrong with your wife? Did you adopt surprise affair kids that you moved in behind your wife's back? Because I don't see any other possible reason why she, their adoptive parent, would want to treat them as less than. If she had kindly brought up her desire to treat herself with some of the money, without hiding those intentions initially, and throwing a tantrum when you said no, I would have suggested putting some aside to do, buy something for just her, or you both, like a vacation or cosmetic house upgrades. I would stay on the, all of our children deserve equal support, hill. And not that this is my money. So I get to decide, hill. Because in the latter, your wife can make this about you keeping money from her. Or even claim financial abuse. She would be wrong. But it still puts you on the defensive. When the real problem here is that your wife thinks it's okay to treat your children differently based on the means in which they joined your family, which is something the children had no say in. NTA. If you aren't going to treat your kids all the same, you shouldn't adopt. You're doing exactly right. It might have been nice to take a small part of the inheritance for you and your wife to spend on a treat, but it isn't necessary. Treating your adopted kids and your bio kid the same is absolutely necessary. Aiden's reaction makes me wonder how often and how badly Amy has been failing at that a single incident doesn't usually bring about that kind of response. NTA. But your wife sure is. She should not have adopted children if she couldn't treat them the same as her own biological children. That is so, so sad. Thank you for sticking up for them and ensuring they have a parent that truly loves them. NTA. Do not compromise. You adopted those two children. They are yours now. Mom is a massive awe and I hope when the kids get older they cut her off. What a terrible thing for a mother to say about children she brought into your home. In no possible world are you the asshole here. NTA. You are not the a-hole. Your wife however is. Why would she have adopted children if she wasn't going to treat them as her own? I was listening to a podcast, Crime Junkie, and one of the episodes was about a family wanting to give back an adopted child and Brit made a great point. Once you adopt a child, they are yours as much as your bio kids are. They have all rights a bio child does. Like what? I'm sorry your wife wants things too but a parent sacrifices for children. You think my dad wanted to get braces for my half-sister? No he wanted a Lexus. But instead he paid for my half-sister who isn't biologically or even legally his to get braces. Because that's what a parent does. And he never even adopted her. But he always treated all of us the same. Regardless of if they were his bio kids. And even ensured that we looked at each other as siblings. Regardless of if we were full or not. Your wife needs therapy. She needs to take a step back and realize she's so in the wrong here. And figure out what her problem is. Good on you for standing up for all your kids and wanting them best for them up. We need more parents like you in the world. NTA. But Jesus your wife is. I am stunned. Is there something she's not telling you? Another credit card? She getting made fun of at the country club for still having a mortgage? Does she work or contribute and it all gets sunk in the kids? 
Is she resentful? Quite frankly, I wouldn't be able to look at her the same way after this. And I can assure you, Ethan never will. The fact it's been days without her saying anything is also extremely telling where her priorities are. What about her, real, son? She make any effort to talk to him? I think you have a lot of internal work to do here. As a couple and as an individual. Good luck op. You're a good dad. NTA. I'm glad Aiden has you in his corner at least I can't even imagine being adopted. 16 and finding out your mom doesn't think of you as her, real, child. Heartbreaking situation. Absolutely NTA. I feel so sad for your children that your wife feels that way about them. She has betrayed them in. What I'm assuming is one of the worst ways an adoptive parent can. Please make sure your children know they are absolutely not at any fault for this either. You are a wonderful father and I wish the best to you and your children. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.